at the airport. Uh, hi. Good morning. May I see your ticket and passport, please? Certainly. Here you are. Would you like a window seat or an aisle seat? A uh, window seat, please. Could you place your bag on the luggage belt, please? Sure. Did you pack it yourself? Yes. Has anyone interfered with your bag or asked you to take anything on board the plane? No. Do you have any firearms, hazardous materials, or liquids in your bag? No. Oh, I'm afraid your bag has exceeded the maximum baggage allowance, so you'll have to pay the excess fare. Oh, right. If you just go over to that counter over there, you can pay the amount. Then just come back here with the receipt, and I'll put your bag straight through. Okay, thanks. Here you are. Thank you. Here's your boarding card. Your flight leaves at 13:34. Boarding will commence at 12:45. The boarding gate hasn't been announced yet, but it should appear on the flight information screens in about a half an hour. The security check-in area is just over there. Have a nice flight. Thanks. On the plane. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board Gallup Airlines Flight 4B7 from London Gatwick to Paris. Please fasten your seat belts and secure all baggage underneath your seat or in the overhead lockers. And make sure your seats and table trays are in the upright position. Please turn off all personal electronic devices, including laptops and mobile phones. We'd also like to remind you that smoking is prohibited for the duration of the flight. Thank you for choosing Gallup Airlines. Enjoy your flight. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the fasten seat belt sign, and you may now move around the cabin. However, we recommend you keep your seat belt fastened in case of any unexpected turbulence. Good afternoon. This is your captain speaking. I'd just like to welcome everyone on Gallup Airlines Flight 4B7. We're currently cruising at an altitude of 33,000 feet and an airspeed of 400 miles per hour. The time is 1.25. With the tailwind on our side, we're expecting to land in Paris approximately 15 minutes ahead of schedule. The weather in Paris is clear and sunny, with a high of 25 degrees for this afternoon. The cabin crew will be coming round in about 20 minutes to offer you a light snack and drink. I'll talk to you again before we reach our destination. But until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the flight. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Paris. We've just landed at Charles de Gaulle Airport, where the local time is 15 minutes past three in the afternoon. The temperature outside is 25 degrees Celsius. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop and the seatbelt sign has been switched off. Before leaving, please ensure that you have all your personal belongings with you. On behalf of Gallup Airlines and the entire crew, we'd like to thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Have a nice day! Going through customs Hi. Could you put your bag on the table, please? Yes, sure. Would you mind opening it for me, please? Yes, of course. Did you pack it yourself? Yes, I did. Where have you flown in from? New York City. Is this your first time in the UK? Yes. Is there anyone else travelling with you? No. Can I see your passport, please? Yes. Uh... Here you are. OK. And what's the purpose of your visit? I'm visiting some friends and relatives. And how long do you plan to stay? Fifteen days. Where will you be staying? At my uncle's house. Have you got anything to declare? No, I don't think so. I mean, I've got this bottle of whiskey, but I got it in the duty-free shop. That's all right. That's within your duty-free allowance. OK, you can go now. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. 
at the hotel. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I made a reservation a couple of weeks ago. What name did you make it under, please? Simmons. Melissa Simmons. Ah, uh, yes. A single room for two nights. Actually, it was a double room for three nights. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'll just change the booking. Right, so that's a double room for three nights. Yes, I'll be checking out on Monday morning. Could I have your credit card and passport, please? Yes, here you are. Thanks. You're in room 625, which is on the sixth floor. Here's your key card, and the lift is just over there. Great. What time is the restaurant open for breakfast, please? Between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. Okay. And is there a swimming pool here? Yes, just down those stairs over there on the right. We've got some pool towels if you need one. Perfect. And let me know if there's anything else you need. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. At the doctor's. So, what seems to be the problem? Well, I haven't been feeling very well. I was vomiting a lot over the weekend and I've got this terrible pain in my stomach and a pretty bad headache. I think I've got some kind of tummy bug. Does your body feel sore? Yes, it does. OK, I just need to take your temperature. Hmm, 38.5. You've got a bit of a temperature. You need to drink plenty of fluids and stay in bed for the next 48 hours. You also need to take this medicine. You can get it in the chemists. Just take one pill every six hours. OK, thanks a lot. Is there a chemist near here? Yes, there's one right next to the clinic. Great, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. At the travel agents. Morning. Good morning. Can I help you? Yes. Um, I've never been on holiday before, but I finally decided to take an overseas trip. The trip of a lifetime. How exciting. How long would you like to go for? Two weeks. During the Christmas holidays. Where do you suggest? How about a luxury safari in Mozambique? The weather will be warm and you'll have a real adventure. Um, will there be mosquitoes? I guess so, but you can take some insect repellent. I'm allergic to mosquitoes. What else have you got? What about southern Spain? I can get you a package deal that includes flights, accommodation, and meals. Aren't the beaches there full of Brits? I'd rather go somewhere off the beaten path, so to speak. Well, British Airways have a great deal at the moment on flights to the Solomon Islands. It's beautiful there this time of year, and the exchange rate is great. Mm, how long is the flight? About 20 hours. Oh, that won't do. I get cramp if I sit too long. Anything closer to home? Um, Germany? I'm not a big fan of sausages. There's more to Germany than just sausages. Um, well... You could always go somewhere closer to home. Maybe take the ferry to Dublin? Well, I'd love to, but I get seasick. How about Brighton? Well, it might be a bit cold and depressing in December. Sounds perfect. Um, okay. And because it's low season, I can get you a great deal on a five-star hotel. I'll book the train, too. Window or aisle seat? Train? Yeah, Brighton is only 45 minutes from London by train. Uh, I don't do trains. Long story. Maybe I'll just stay in London. Not much of a holiday, though. I mean, you already live in London. Oh, go to the British Museum, visit Big Ben, walk across London Bridge. It'll be the holiday of my dreams. Thanks so much for your advice. Um, my pleasure. I'll send you a postcard. Bye. Shopping. Excuse me, do you know where the cereal is, please? Yes, it's down there, on the right, uh, three aisles down. Ah, uh, and uh, do you know where the toilets are, please? They're on the third floor. 
and the fruit and vegetable section? It's at the back of the supermarket, just over there. Oh, and where's the sports department? It's on the second floor. And the cafeteria? It's on the sixth floor. Great. Sorry, but where's the escalator? It's just over there. Are you open on Sundays? Yes, we are. Oh, I wanted to try this shirt on. Do you know where the changing rooms are? You'll have to go back to the menswear department on the fourth floor and try it on there. This is the supermarket. There aren't any changing rooms here. OK, great. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Oh, and just one other thing. Uh, excuse me. Frank, Frank. Yeah, what? Could you deal with this gentleman, please? I'm sorry, but there's been an emergency and I've got to go and stack some boxes. Oh, right. Well then, uh, Frank, I was just wondering whether you could tell me where... At the restaurant. Good evening. Good evening. We'd like a table for two, please. Certainly. This way, please. Can I get you a drink? Um, yes, I'll have a glass of white wine, please. And I'll have a bottle of Heineken, please. OK. Our special of the day is mushroom soup and a filet of fish with sautéed potatoes. OK, thanks. Here are your drinks. Are you ready to order? Yes, uh, I'll have the special, please. And I'll have the salad as a starter. And I'd like the steak for the main course, please. And how would you like your steak? Well done, please. OK, so that's one special and one salad and a well done steak. That's right. Perfect. Was everything all right? Yes, very nice, thank you. Would you like uh, any coffee or dessert? No, just the bill, please. Will you be paying by credit card? Yes. OK, I'll just go and get the bill for you now. Bear with me. The Underground Hi, do you think you could help me, please? Yeah, sure. I'm trying to get to Waterloo Station. What's the best way to get there? Probably by tube. Okay. Do you know which line it is? Yes, it's the, um, uh, the Northern Line. Great. And do you know where the nearest tube stop is? Well, Covent Garden is just down this street, but then you'd have to change at Leicester Square to get on the Northern Line. So it would be quicker and easier to walk to Leicester Square and to get the tube from there. OK, that's great. Do I need to change lines after that? No, just get on a southbound train. Find the platform that says southbound and take the first tube that comes along. I think it's about four or five stops from there. That's great. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. Taxi. Afternoon. Hi. I need to get to the National Museum of Art. Sure, hop in. Is it far? Not really, but uh, if the traffic's bad, it can be a bit slow. Oh, I've got a meeting in ten minutes. It should be OK. By the way, have you got change for a 50 euro note? Yeah, I think so. So, is it your first time in the city? Yes, I'm here for a conference. Very nice. That's the Museum of Science on the right. Oh, OK. And that's the Parliament building over there. Oh, right. That's a museum, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. That was quicker than I expected. Uh, do you need a receipt? Oh, no, that's OK. Thanks. That'll be €6.20, please. Here you are. Thank you very much. Bye. Police. Good afternoon. Oh, hi. I'd like to report a theft, please. OK. 
You'll need to fill out this crime incident report form then. Will I be able to use that to file an insurance claim when I get back to Italy? Yes. OK. Now, can you give me your name and address, please? Yes, it's Marco Spinetti, and I'm staying at the Grosvenor Hotel at 13 Marlborough Street. And your passport or ID card number? Uh, my passport number is B783 4689Z. And have you got a contact number? Yes, my mobile phone number is 0029-876-349. OK. And what items were stolen? Um, just a wallet, I think. When was this? At about 2pm yesterday afternoon. And where were you at the time? I was in Victoria Station. And could you describe what happened? Yes, well, I was waiting in a queue to get a train ticket. But when I came to pay, I realised that my wallet was missing. I think someone must have picked my pocket as I was in the queue. Did you notice anyone acting suspiciously at the time? Yes. Well, there was an elderly man with a walking stick behind me. He kept bumping into me. I'm sure it was him. The pub. Good evening. Evening. What can I get you? Uh, I'll have a pint of Heineken and a vodka and coke, please. OK, would you like any ice and lemon with the vodka and coke? Yes, please. OK, anything else? Yeah, a packet of cheese and onion crisps and a packet of peanuts, please. OK. Last orders, ladies and gentlemen. Here you are. How much is that, then? That will be £8.50, please. Cheers. Here you are. Thank you. Time, please, ladies and gentlemen. Let's be finishing your drinks, please. Um, excuse me, but where are the toilets, please? Um, just over there on the right. Thanks. At the museum. Excuse me. When's the museum open, please? We're open from 9am to 6pm all week, except Tuesday. Last admission is one hour before closing time. Great. And how much is it to get in? It's £12 for adults, £6 for senior citizens and students, and it's free for children under the age of 12 who are accompanied by an adult. There's a supplementary fee for some of the special exhibitions and events. Oh, well, I was interested in the photography exhibition. How much is the supplementary fee for that? That's £3 extra per person. Are there any guided tours? There's a two-hour private guided tour that costs £50. OK, well, I think we'll leave that for now. So, that's two adults for the museum and two supplementary tickets for the exhibition, please. That will be £30, please. OK, here you are. You'll have to leave your backpack in the left luggage office. OK. And you'll have to pass through the body scan and put any handbags through the metal detector. Great. The main hall is straight ahead of you. The gift shop is to the right and there's a cafeteria in the basement. Thanks a lot. At the train station. Hi. I'd like a ticket to Wolverhampton for tomorrow, please. Single or return? A single, please. When did you want to leave? What time is the first train? 7.35. OK. A single for the 7.35, please. That'll be £42, please. £42? That's a bit expensive. If you buy it online in advance, you can get a much better price. Or you can get an off-peak ticket for just £22 but you'd have to get the 11.22 train. OK, then. I'll have the off-peak ticket for the train at 11.22. Is it direct? No. You have to change at parking. OK. Uh, can I pay by credit card? Of course. Here you are. Thank you. Just sign here, please. 
Thanks. Which platform does it leave from? You'll have to check it on the information screen. It usually goes from platform 16, but you'll have to check. OK. Have a nice journey. Thanks. At the theatre. Hi, I'd like some tickets for the musical Let It Be, please. OK. When would you like to go? This Friday the 18th, if possible. We're fully booked on Friday, but there are some seats available for Thursday. Perfect. At what time are the performances? Well, the matinee session is at 3pm and the evening show is at 8pm. OK, and how much are the tickets? Well, seats in the stalls are £65 each. They're £45 for the dress circle and £35 for the upper circle. There's a 10% discount for those under 16. OK, then I'll have two seats in the stalls for the matinee performance, please. OK. How about row H, seats 1 and 2? That's quite close to the stage, but not too close. Sounds great. How long does the show last? About three hours, with a half-hour interval in between. So that's £130, please. How would you like to pay? By credit card, please. Uh, can I take one of the programmes? Yes, of course. Here, just key in your PIN code. The theatre opens 45 minutes before the show starts. OK, great. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the show. I'm sure we will. At the post office. Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to send this parcel to Manchester, please. OK, could you put it on the scales? All right. That's under two kilograms. When did you want it to arrive? Uh, a couple of days. If you send it first class, it'll be delivered the next day. And if you send it second class, it'll arrive within three to four days. First class stamps are four pounds and second class are two pounds. OK. And how much would it be to send it registered post? Twelve pounds. And it's guaranteed to be delivered by 9 a.m. the next day. OK. That sounds fine. I'll send it registered post then. You need to fill out this form with the recipient's details. Perfect. So that's £12 in total, please. Here you are. Thank you. Uh, here's your receipt. Great. Oh, and where's the post box, please? I've got some pre-stamped letters I need to send. Just leave them with me and I'll send them for you. OK, great. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. At the cinema. Three adults and a child for the six o'clock session of Murder at Midnight, please. Did you want to see it in 3D? No, just the normal version, please. OK. Uh, where would you like to sit? Somewhere in the middle, if possible. How about row J, seats 10 to 13? That sounds perfect. What's the film about, by the way? Well, it's a sort of murder mystery. It's quite good. I went last week. I saw the trailer. It looks pretty good. Do you think it'd be suitable for my 15-year-old son? It's rated PG-13, so it'd be fine for him. That'll be £26, please. Can I pay by credit card? Of course. OK, here you go. Thank you. Where are the toilets, please? Just along the corridor on the right. And where can I get some popcorn? There's a snack bar just around the corner as you walk in. Great. Thanks a lot. Here are your tickets. Thanks. The nightclub. Sorry, but we're a bit full. You'll have to wait. Oh, OK. Um, what time's the club open until? 3 a.m. Could you just stand over there, please? Do you know how long we're going to have to wait? Not long. What sort of music do they play here? House, R&B, rap, hip-hop, that sort of stuff. All right, you can go in now. Have you got any ID on you? Yes, here you are. How old are you? Twenty. All right. You can pay at the desk just inside the club when you go in. 
How much is it to get in, by the way? I've got this invitation. No, it's only valid before 11pm. It's £20 per person and you get two free drinks. OK. Pretty busy, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, I'll get the drinks. What are you having? A whiskey and coke. Do you know where the cloakroom is? I think it's just by the entrance. I'm going to leave my coat. Good idea. Oh, I love this song. I'm going down to the dance floor. I'll see you there. At the coffee shop. Good afternoon. Can I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cappuccino and a decaf latte. Regular, medium or large? Regular for both, please. Would you like skimmed milk? Semi-skimmed for the cappuccino and whole milk for the latte, please. And any hazelnut or vanilla? No, thanks. Would you like anything to eat with that? Yes, a piece of the cheesecake and a chocolate muffin, please. Is this to take away or have here? To take away, please. That's £16.99, please. Here you are. Oh, I'm sorry, but I don't have any change. Have you got anything smaller? Um, let me see. Oh, yes. Here's a £20 note. Great. Thanks a lot. Where's the sugar, please? It's just over there on the table. Here's your change. Great. Thanks. Thank you. And have a nice day. Thanks. Bye. The Business Trip This is fantastic. I've never been in the executive lounge before. Just one of the perks of flying business class. So, who paid for the plane tickets? Mum. Great! She's so kind. You've booked a room at the Hilton, haven't you? Yep. A suite. I bet there's Wi-Fi in the room. Cable TV and one of those trouser presses. And 24-hour room service. Fantastic. But I feel a bit bad about your mum paying for everything. Oh, don't worry. She only paid for the flights. You're paying for the hotel. What? I, I borrowed your credit card. I can't afford a room at the Hilton. Relax. We're about to sign a major record deal. We'll be millionaires by Monday. I hope so. Right, so we've got a tight schedule. Once we check into the hotel, we have to go straight to a business lunch with Rocco. He's the head of the studio. Don't you think you should take it easy with the champagne? That's your fourth glass. You don't want to have a hangover for the meeting. Of course I do. We're a rock band. In fact, I'm planning to get really drunk at the meeting and shout abuse at Rocco in the middle of the restaurant. He'll love it. Really? Yeah, and I'm planning to trash the hotel room before we check out. And maybe throw the TV into the pool. Not on my credit card, you're not. Hey, what's with the suit and tie? You should be wearing some tight leather trousers like mine. It's much more rock and roll. No thanks. Oh, and I've booked a limousine to pick us up at the airport. Am I paying for that too? Cancel it. Let's get a taxi. We can't pull up to the hills in a taxi. <sighs> Just remember to keep the receipts so I can claim everything as expenses. Rock stars don't keep receipts. Hey, time to board. Got your boarding pass and passport? Yep. Oh, and just so you know, I'm planning to make a scene on the plane. Hopefully I'll be arrested when we land. Just think of the publicity. Renting a car. Good morning. How may I help you? Good morning. I'd like to rent a car for the day. Okay. Any car in mind? Um, just an ordinary four-door car. We've got a Peugeot 206, if you like. Yes, that'll be fine. How much is it per day? It's £80 per day with unlimited mileage, and that includes insurance. That sounds all right. And the excess is £200. What does that mean? Well, if you have an accident, you have to pay the first £200. OK, um, I'm not really planning on having an accident. Very wise. So just fill in this form, please, 
and I need to see your driving licence, and I'll have to swipe your credit card. OK, here you are. Very good. Here are the keys. The car is in Bay 62 in parking space 91. It's a blue Peugeot 206 station wagon. Great. Drive safely. Thanks. Bye. Bye. On the bus. Is this the right bus for Trafalgar Square? Yes. A single, please. You need to give the exact change. Oh, sorry. Here you are. Don't forget your ticket. Does this bus stop at Oxford Street? No, you need 34 for that. Where can I get the 34? It's the bus stop over the street. That one just over there. Do I have to change buses? No, it's direct. But this one's going to Trafalgar Square, and you can walk to Oxford Street from there. It isn't far. Oh, OK. I'll stay on this one, then. Could you tell me where to get off, please? Yes, all right. OK, thanks. Hey, you've forgotten your ticket. Oh, right. In the city. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, I've just got in and I was wondering if you could recommend anything to see. Well, if you like art, you really should go to the Metropolitan Art Museum, the MoMA. OK. I've heard of that. And then, there's the Empire State Building. You can go to the top of that and get a great view of the city. What about eating out? Well, you really should try some of New York City's restaurants. There's one I really like that serves gourmet hamburgers on Fifth Avenue. That sounds good. What about a Broadway show? I've heard so much about Broadway and I'd love to see a show there. Well, the musical Wicked is playing. Also, Chicago and Fiddler on the Roof are quite popular. What about nightlife? I'm really into alternative music. Oh, well, New York City has some great clubs. You'd probably like CBGB. It's a punk alternative bar on Bleecker Street. Blondie and the Talking Heads both performed there before getting really famous. OK. Well, thanks for your suggestions. Very useful. You're welcome. Have fun and stay safe. In the country. Country Oaks Bed and Breakfast, how may I help you? Hi, I'm thinking of coming for a visit in the next few weeks. What's the best way to get there from the city? Take bus 35 from Appleton Street. Then get off at the Cherry Turnpike, exit number 16. The house is the third one on the right, with a blue and pink sign. Is there any sightseeing nearby? Well, there's a town with a medieval castle about 20 minutes away. There are guided tours that leave in the morning and then again 
in the afternoon. Mmm, that sounds interesting. Yes, it's really charming. It's a great place to take the family. What about restaurants? Are there many nearby? There are a few. There's a nice little place in the village that sells traditional food. Okay, that sounds great. Do you have two rooms with twin beds for the weekend of Saturday the 12th? Um, let me check. Yes, we have two rooms available. Great. What's your name, please? Thomas Sanders. All right, Mr. Sanders. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye. Renting a shared flat. Hi. I've come round to see the flat. Oh, you're Petra, right? Come in. This is the living room. Looks nice. So... Is the flat furnished? Yes, this is all my furniture here. Great. Is the kitchen fully equipped? There's a fridge and an oven, but I'm afraid there's no washing machine. But there's a laundrette really close by. If you decide to move here, the other tenants can show you where it is. There are three girls who live here. One from Germany and two from China. They're all very nice. Okay. Are they students or do they work? Two of them are students, but one of the Chinese girls works as a translator. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yes, she's very lovely. Now, this is one of the bedrooms. The other tenants have single rooms. But this one is the biggest. Very nice. It looks quite light. Does it get a lot of sun? Well, when it isn't raining, you should get a bit of sun in the afternoon. Okay. And what kind of deposit do you need? Well, I'll need one month's rent as a deposit. Plus, you'll need to pay one month's rent in advance. And how much is the monthly rent? It's 600 pounds per calendar month. So, you need a deposit, one month's rent in advance, plus the first month's rent? That's 1,800 pounds then, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, well, I'm definitely interested. We can sign the contract now if you want. Okay, great. Sightseeing. So, what do you want to do on our first day in Rome? I want to go to the Trevi Fountain and then see the Spanish Steps. Okay, I want to go to the Vatican. Is the Vatican open today? I think so. And guess what? There's a reduction for EU citizens. Great! You know what though? I think it's better to see the fountain in the morning and then go to the Vatican in the afternoon. Okay. Hey, how many churches are there here? I'm sure there are a lot, especially in the old part of town. Yeah, the buildings are so old here and so beautiful. Do you have the map from the hostel with you? Yeah, I brought it with me. It's got all of the monuments on it. I circled the ones I want to see. That sounds great. I want to see everything we possibly can. 
well, before we go sightseeing, do you want to have breakfast first? Yeah. How about some pizza? How about pizza for lunch instead? The clothes shop. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Uh, yes, I, I was looking for a pair of trousers. What waist size are you? Twenty-eight. And what colour were you looking for? Black or dark blue. Here you are. Can I try them on? Yes, certainly. The changing rooms are over there. Can I try a size thirty-two, please, just in case? Certainly. Here you are. How are they? Uh, fine, thanks. I think I need the size thirty. I must have put on some weight recently. Anything else? Yes, I was also looking for a shirt to go with the trousers. How about these shirts here? Yes, they look nice. Can I try one on, please? Yes, here. These should fit you. Great. Actually, I think I'll just take them because I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a rush. Okay, that'll be sixty-eight pounds, please. Here you are. At the bank. Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to pay this money into my account, please. Have you filled in a paying in slip? No, I didn't see them. Here you are. I'd also like to apply for a credit card. You'll need to fill out this form. Then we'll process your application. I've also got these U.S. dollars on me. Can I change them here? Yes, that won't be a problem. What's the exchange rate for dollars to pounds? It's zero point five zero six one five pence. That means that one dollar is worth fifty point six one five pence. So if I change a hundred U.S. dollars, I'll get about fifty pounds, right? Yes, fifty pounds and sixty one point five pence, to be precise. And are there any charges? There is a two point five percent commission charge on all transactions. Okay. I think I'll just keep them for my next trip to the states. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye. At the ski shop. Hi. I'd like to rent some skis and ski boots, please. What's your shoe size? Forty. Okay. Try these. Mmm. They're a bit tight. How about these? Ah, yes, that's much better. I can get my thick socks on now. Are you an experienced skier? I've been a few times before. These skis should be okay for you. They're short, so they're easier to control. Can you stand up a sec, please? Yes, that's fine. Right. I need your ski boots so I can fit them to the skis. Here you are. You'll have to fill out this form, and I need to swipe your credit card. Yes, here you are. At the chemists. Can I help you? Yes, I was looking for some antiseptic cream. You'll find some in the next aisle, the one parallel to this one. Okay, great. Another thing, have you got anything for an upset tummy? Yes, these work quite well. Okay, I'll take a packet of those then, and 
Have you got any cough medicine? Yes. You'll find that next to the toothpaste, just over there. Okay, thanks very much. And finally, I was just wondering if it's possible to get any antibiotics. I've got a bit of a chest infection. Not without a prescription. You'll have to speak to your GP about that. Okay, thanks for your help. At the hairdressers. I'd like a haircut, please. Do you have an appointment? No. Actually, we're not that busy right now. Could you come over here to the wash basins, please? So how would you like it? Could you just trim the fringe and cut a bit off the back and sides, please? Anything off the top? Um, just leave it, actually. Perhaps just cut the ends, but I'd rather have it longer on top. Okay. So, do you work around here? Yeah, in the high street. Actually, don't take too much off the sides, please. I want a bit over the top of my ears. No problem. Nice day, isn't it? How's that, then? Yeah, that looks great. Um, actually, could you take a bit more off the back? But leave the sideburns as they are, please. Okay. Giving directions. Uh, um, excuse me. I'm trying to find a pub called the Cock and Bull. Could you point me in the right direction? Ah, the Cock and Bull. I know it well. Excellent pub. Oh, great. I'm new to the city, and I'm supposed to meet a friend there, but I haven't got a clue where I am. Uh, right. Well, go straight ahead. Then take the third road on your left. Uh, that's Queen Street. Uh, follow it until you pass a school and there... No, uh, hang on. That's not right. Well, um, I can ask someone else if you're not sure. No, no. I know London like the back of my hand. OK, ignore everything I just said. From here, you want to get onto Charles Street, which is parallel to this street. Then walk east about 500 metres until you see an old church. Uh, turn right to the church and... Wait a minute. Uh, I've got a map here. I don't need a map. I've lived here all my life. And the Cock and Bull isn't far. Excellent pub, by the way. They do a fantastic steak and kidney pie. Or was it steak and mushroom? Anyway, go about 400 metres that way and when you get to a roundabout, hang a left. Walk for another two minutes and you'll see a bank on the opposite side of the road. The pub is just next to the bank. You can't miss it. G great, thank you. Oh, no, hold on. That's where the pub used to be. It moved 15 years ago. Well, maybe I should ask someone else. No, no, I'm your man. I practically live at the Bear and Bull. You mean the Cock and Bull? No, the Bear and Bull. I'm trying to get to the Cock and Bull. The Cock and Bull? Oh, no idea. Never heard of it. Goodbye. The Car Nice car. Yes, I got it last week. It's, it was only £300. That's great. Yes, it's a bargain. It's only 14 years old. Hmm. The bodywork is a bit scratched, though, isn't it? Yes, well, it needs a bit of paint on it. And one of the headlights is broken, isn't it? Yeah, I'll have to get that repaired. 
Does it work? Of course it does. Look. See? Go on then, take me for a spin. Okay, jump in. I'll take you home. The gears are a bit stiff, aren't they? Yes, it doesn't really go into second gear. I have to skip from first gear to third gear. The brakes don't work either. What? You mean you can't stop it? Oh, yes, of course I can stop. We've got the handbrake. The handbrake? Well, don't go too fast. I think you should slow down a bit. Uh, I think... Let me out. Okay, hang on. I'm going to stop the car. Well, thanks. I think I can walk from here. Are you sure? Quite sure. See you later. Bye. Driving in the city. Hey, watch out. That's a red light, and I'm on a pedestrian crossing. Sorry, are you okay? I'm all right, but your front wheel is on the curb. Oh, I'm just so tired. I've been stuck in a traffic jam for two hours, and I didn't get any sleep last night. Oh, that's hardly my problem. And in case you didn't know, this is a dead-end street. Whoops, I'm a bit lost. You don't happen to know where Marstone Street is, do you? Yep. So, um, could you, um, give me directions? OK. Drive straight on for about 350 metres. OK, straight on. When you get to the traffic lights, take the first turning on the left and then drive straight on again. Traffic lights. First turning, um, left. Then, after about another 200 metres and a few speed bumps, you get to a roundabout. A roundabout. And you take the first turning on the right. On the right. Then you go over a bridge and through a tunnel. Then you turn right and then left and then right again. And it's just there on the left. A, a, a bridge, a tunnel, right, left, right. OK, I think I've got it. Uh, you can't miss it. OK, bye. Thanks. Right. Now, what did he say? Drive straight on, then the first left, then... Driving on the road. Hi, yeah, it's me. Yeah, I know. Look, um, I've got a slight problem. The car's broken down. I was trying to get to the garden centre. Yeah, I know, we've been there before. Yeah, I had the GPS on, but, but it kept telling me to turn it off at junction uh, 36. But I knew that wasn't right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I was driving along in the outside lane when the car started losing power. I was going up a hill and the motor just cut out. Yeah, yeah, I know. OK. Well, I don't think it's anything serious. It's just run out of petrol. Yeah, I know. I should check it. Look, I need you to call the breakdown service. I haven't got the number. And my battery's running out. Yeah, I know. I took the insurance papers out of the car. No, I haven't got my driving licence on me either. Yeah, I know you're supposed to keep it in the car. They're in the living room, in the cupboard, just to the right of the door. Look, hurry up. I haven't got much battery left. Where am I? Well, I'm on the motorway. The M22. Westbound. Well, I'm not sure. I passed the service station about two minutes ago. Uh, there's a speed camera, if that helps. No, I don't know. I'm waiting on the hard shoulder. There's a turning about 300 metres in front of me. But I can't see the traffic sign properly. I think it says Newgate and Shoreham, but I'm not sure. There's a bridge just up ahead. Well, yeah, there is a petrol station back there, but it's four miles down the road. I can't just walk along the motorway. Look, just call them, will you? Yeah, I know it's rush hour. Yes, there is a lot of traffic. Yes, and a tailback. OK. Yeah, right. OK, bye. Yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> 